How would you like to learn what I focus on when I'm warming up from the baseline? Well, in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you some big keys that can really help your tennis out. Take it from a coach who also played on the tour for 11 years and who's now coached for over a decade. These are the little tricks that can help you improve. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, one of the leading online tennis instruction websites in the world. And in today's lesson, I am playing myself and I am going to be showing you what I'm focusing on as I warm up. Now, I've already gone through my short court practice and I'm starting to move back to the baseline. So right away, you can see right there, even early on in this lesson, I'm having a conversation with a parent on the sideline there. But even here, I'm almost to the baseline and I get this ball right here and look how I move around it. I'm hitting an inside out forehand. Why am I doing that? Because I'm training myself. If I were to play a point, if the ball comes through the middle, I'm not gonna move to my left. I'm gonna move to my right. Also notice the shuffle as I move. Now, one thing I could work on that the pros are doing a better job of than me here is the off arm. I could keep my hand on the racket a little bit longer, but I did separate early there. That works for me so that I'm not late on the forehand. So if I was playing more tennis, I'd probably work on that more. Now I've shifted back. People say, oh, you should never step in, you know, don't step into the ball. Well, here I am on my front foot. Now I'm not stepping across. I'm still staying a little bit open here. Look at where this foot is. Okay, notice the extension. Look at that extension. Look how high my racket, you can't see the racket with the lights, but look at how high my racket goes here. Okay, look at the net clearance on that forehand. Okay, a couple feet over the net. Now I'm behind the baseline. Not much of a split step there. I, could, I, I get in trouble. Again, look at my first move. Off arm pulls across the body. It could pull across a little bit more. Notice how I keep the racket on the left side of the body. That's something I didn't have on the tour. I had a little tail and that hurt me on fast courts. I've worked, I'm, I'm worked on that as I've learned more as a coach. Again, notice the extension. The big thing I want you to notice is the extension and the spacing. I also want you to notice again, comes to the forehand, watch this little shuffle move. Most people don't do that shuffle move. They just drop step and turn sideways, okay? Now look at my head on this one. Look at my eyes. I'm not even looking up to see where the ball goes. So I finish, I have a good finish. I have good movement around the ball. I'm keeping my head at contact. These are all things that I'm focusing on when I play. Again, I'm on my front foot here, but I'm not closing off. Look at my hips, look at my hip position. I'm not turned sideways, but I'm also not facing the net. Look at how I bring my shoulder around. Now when I'm playing, I'm aware of these things. Here's a backhand finally. Now I have more of a straight back take back on my backhand. I don't cock it up. Now this ball actually gets a little high. I do a pretty good job of dropping my hands and a pretty good job of getting through the ball. Again, you can't see it great with the lights, but look at how this arm is pretty straight right here. Look at my posture, pretty good right here. Okay, and I'm on my front foot. Now this one's a deeper ball, so now I have to drop and I'm gonna use, I actually kinda use a Nadal footwork pattern where I hit this ball and I kinda step back. I don't use a switch there. These are the little subtle things that you want to be practicing and being aware and, and be aware of when you're playing. So I move to this ball. Look, I load this leg and I go outside hop. That's what I call the outside hop. So I'm, I'm pushing off this foot and it's actually not technically an outside hop. It's actually, I'm, I'm pushing off the outside leg and stepping back. Nadal does a lot, a lot of that. And I actually used a buggy whip on this shot. You can't, you can't uh, see the buggy whip here but I use the buggy whip and now I'm back and I'm still, now I'm a few feet behind the baseline. Again, look at the extension. Look how I get my weight on my front foot there. 
Okay, so there's a lot of fundamentals happening here that I wanted to share with you today. And to summarize it, I want you to, I want you to create that space around the ball. I want you to extend and have a good follow through. I want you to work on looking for forehands and shuffling around the ball. And understand that you can get on your front foot, but you don't want to step across in a closed stance. You want to try to keep your body semi-open even when you step in on the front foot. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Uh, please share it with others. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And these are the things, again, that you can do to warm up and improve during your warm up. I have a purpose to my warm up. I'm always focusing on something to get better. I'm not just randomly hitting. If you enjoyed this video, like I said, share it with others. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn on your notifications so you can get updated on all our latest releases. We have a free gift to offer you. If you click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video, you can get access to a free instructional course. I've got lessons on the serve, the forehand footwork, singles and doubles strategy that's really going to help you get to the next level. And that's what I want for you. Click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video to get access to the Tennis Evolution app where you can find that free instructional course. Thanks for your time today and we'll see you at the next one.